Les Paul was born June 9, 1916 in Waukesha, Wisconsin and is one of the most widely known names for millions of guitarists throughout the world. This is by virtue of the many solid-body electrical guitars developed by him bearing his name and made by the Gibson Guitar Company in the USA. Few of these guitarists realize that Les Paul is likewise an impressive jazz guitar player who won numerous jazz polls in the late 1940s. Les Paul fell for the guitar at an early age. He was self-taught both on the harmonica and the guitar. Les played the harmonica, installed on a harness of his own design, so that he could play it, at the same time, with the guitar. His first professional work was actually as a one-man band playing for tips at roadside restaurants. He called himself Rhubarb Bread, and his fame quickly landed him some local radio broadcasts, particularly after he started working with Joe Wolverton, whose stage name was Sonny Joe. In 1933 Les Paul left for Chicago, where his obvious natural skill landed him numerous jobs in various local radio stations. His dual capability of being able to play country and western music under the name of Rhubarb Bread and jazz as Les Paul ensured that he was kept really busy. By 1936 Les was focusing on jazz and performing with R. Tatum. In 1938 Les moved from Chicago to New York. There he led his own trio, where he now played an electrical guitar. When they appeared on a coast-to-coast -coast NBC radio program with Fred Waring and his Pennsylvanians, the group gained widespread popularity. By the mid-1940s Paul was considered among the USA's foremost jazz guitarists. His approach was considerably influenced by his own personal guitar hero, Yang Reinhardt. In 1943 Les Paul transferred to Los Angeles and formed a new trio, which backed leading stars, including Bing Crosby, Rudy Valley, Jack Benny, and the Andrews Sisters. In 1944, he was selected to appear in a Norman Grant's jazz at the Philharmonic performance in Los Angeles with J.J. Johnson, Illinois Jockey, Nat King Cole, and others. Les Paul is likewise renowned for his development of multi-track recording, which he utilized to excellent effect on his best-selling records with singer Mary Ford. His first experiments into this field began as early as 1937. However, it was not till 1946, under the persuasion of Bing Crosby, that Les finally constructed his own studio to establish and perfect multi-track recording methods. Multi-track recording is part and parcel of today's music scene, but it was during 1948 inside Paul's in-home studio that he made the first historical multi-track recordings of Lover and Brazil. When these records were launched, they received unmatched commercial success. Not long after the release of these records, Les Paul was involved in a significant car mishap where he nearly lost his right arm. Miraculously his arm was saved by a doctor who was a Les Paul fan and instantly recognized the guitarist when he was brought into the hospital with the usage of a metal plate. The medical professional was able to set the right arm in such a way that Les would be able to still play the guitar. After his release from the hospital medical center, Paul was anxious to further continue his experiments with the solid-body electrical guitar, which he had begun in the late 1930s. He realized the compactness of the solid-body guitar would now suit his broken right arm much better than the standard full-size arch-top jazz guitar. In December of 1949, Les met and married vocalist Colleen Summers Mary Ford. They made numerous extremely popular multi-track vocal and guitar hits together and later on had their own weekly TV program. Over the years Paul became persuaded that there was a demand for a solid body guitar and by the early 1950s he encouraged the Gibson Guitar Company to produce the very first Les Paul guitars. In the beginning these got a cool reception from guitarists and the line was nearly dropped by Gibson. However, with the arrival of rock and roll in the 1960s, the solid-body electric guitar all of a sudden started becoming a runaway sales success. Ever since that time, Les Paul guitars have ended up being some of the most popular and the most copied guitars the world has ever known.
Les Paul continued an active career in music from his house in Maui, New Jersey. From the mid-1960s, he took a 10-year break from professional work. However, since the mid-1970s, he once again played and recorded with a variety of artists. Les had a quintuple bypass surgical heart procedure in September 1980, but made a complete recuperation. For some years he appeared weekly with his own group at Fat Tuesday's Club in New York City. On August 12, 2009 Les died of issues from pneumonia in White Plains, New York. Les Paul was without a doubt among the most popular figures in the music profession. His extremely individual guitar style and sound still immediately recognizable. He landed three awards from the National Academy of Recording Arts, Ampers and Sciences for his contribution to the industry. An innovative guitar genius, Les Paul's contribution to the world of music and the guitar is definitely phenomenal.